What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a festival totem. I've got a lot of requests about this uh, from friends, uh, from people from concerts, and kind of people on YouTube as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a handy festival totem where you can kind of take it apart, store it, and switch out your head if you want to, uh, depending on the festival. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do when making this festival totem is you're going to need to buy a piece of PVC pipe. So there, it ranges from about half inch to about an inch is what the usable stuff is, but I chose uh, three fourths of an inch because that is uh, most sturdy and it also is pretty light. Um, inch works as well. It just matters on the piece of connectors, which I'll be showing you later. So here I'm measuring out to four feet. Uh, this really depends on how long you actually want your festival totem to be, but four feet, five feet is about is about right. So Right here I'm just making indentions with the saw. Um, it's fairly hard to cut PVC because it rolls if you don't have a secure environment, which I did not. So I just used two boards to cut it so I didn't dull my saw. And I just cut into the PVC as shown in the video right now. And this is cutting, get, being cut to five feet. So I took a piece of sandpaper. You want to start with the lowest grit sandpaper first and move up to the highest. Um, and I just sanded the edges to where the connection piece is going to be placed. And you also want the, the rough, the top kind of rough for when you're going to be gluing it. So I sanded off the labels too. You don't have to do this. It's just an extra step I did to make it look nicer. Uh, I just sanded off all the like labels and like about the PVC and everything to make it a pure white pole and just kind of like make it smoother. And just finishing off here like little, little tiny touches. So coming up next, I'm going to be talking about the pieces of PVC that you actually need. So there's two different ones. Like one's called the male adapter, one's called the female adapter, and I chose three fourths. So basically what the male adapter does is it screws into the female adapter, and you're going to put the male adapter on your actual uh, totem piece, and you're going to put the female adapter on the totem pole. And then what you do when you want to assemble it is you screw them into one another. So right here, I'm actually screwing the male adapter onto the festival totem pole. And then I'll show you, I'll explain a little later how I did it, uh, how I screwed the female, or I, how I placed the female adapter on the pole. So there's this glue right here that you're going to need to buy. I'll link that in the description, but it's uh, PVC glue, uh, like Gorilla Glue and Super Glue works good, but this glue works the best because it really holds the bond for PVC because it works with plumbing. And there you can see I put it on, um, don't get the glue on your hand, so obviously uh, put it out over some newspaper or something and tap it in with a hammer because you're not going to be taking this off. So one last thing you need to consider is your female adapter which is going to go on your festival totem. So I didn't actually include something, I just include my still which shows it, the piece on. So I cut into little slits to kind of like slide through the bucket or slide through whatever but it really depends on what your object is. So for mine exactly what I did is I cut three little slits in there as you can see on the top and then I glued around the sides to kind of hold it and then I put screws and through the plastic, uh, you're gonna need a you're gonna need a screw gun for that. But you can also uh, bang, uh, pound in some nails with a hammer if you have those. But it really depends on what you have access to yourself and like what your festival totem is. Uh, it's all really dependent on that. So that's why I kind of left it open to you. The last thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have your piece glued in the top here, as well as on here. So it's going to be sticking through, but it still is going to be a little loose with the glue, so you don't want to fully truss it. So basically what I did is I took three square drive nails and screwed them in the side of there. Um, there's three square drive screws. Uh, you can use nails too if you don't have screws, but they won't hold out as well. I would recommend bending them up or possibly gluing them in or uh, nailing them in nail side first so they'll actually hold on here. But this is just one way you can do it. There are plenty of ways to actually secure this to here. Uh, this is very sturdy, it's not going to move, there's nothing, and the glue actually holds really, really well with this. Um, shaking around, it's very secure with the pole, regardless of the PVC pipe you use. Um, this is going to be very sturdy, and this, this helmet isn't very, it's not super heavy, but it's not light either, so for your classical like cardboard cutout of a festival totem, this is going to work very well for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can probably see me at a couple festivals this summer holding this. I'll be running around with my camera and I'll also be running around with this. 
but um, I've already reached four and a half K subscribers, which is amazing. Um, all the giveaways, everyone loved their helmets last time, but I'll be doing a festival totem giveaway and I also have a couple other things that I'm going to be giving away because basically I make stuff, I make the video, I use it a couple times and then it's ba it basically just sits. So I want to give it to someone who, who will actually use it. So make sure you subscribe, like, and be prepared for a couple more videos this week. Thank you.